All right, so we're going to practice with our proportions. This should be some gorgeous work. And really, it's just going to be practicing where to put the number in the proportion. So here we go. All right, number one, 45% of what is 36? Okay, so 45 over 100, that part's done. Um, and if it helps you at the top, maybe you could write is over of or part over total, however you like to think about it. You can refer to that. So I'm looking at is 36, that means 36 is up top of what? That's on the bottom. And here we go. 45 times x is 45x. 36 times 100 is 3600. I'm going to divide by the 45. And here we go. 3600 divided by the 45 is 80. OK, good. Number two, what percent of 250 is 75? OK, so the, this time the percent we don't know. So that's going to be n over 100. And then we could use the is over of, or you know it's always percent of the total. So you could know 250s. The total, is it near the of? Yes, it is. And then 75 is near is. There you go. So 250 times n. 250n. 100 times 75, 7500. Now try to stay a little ahead of me. What would you do next to get n by itself? Hopefully you're saying you're going to divide by what's next to it. So divide by the 250. That gets n by itself. And then type in your calculator, 7500 divided by 250, I got 30. Remember on this one, we were looking for a percent. So this answer is 30%, OK? All right, number three, 55% of what is 48.4? All right, 55 over 100 of what? So we don't know what's with what is 48.4. So 48.4 is on top. All right, 55 times x, 55x. 100 times 48.4. That means you move the decimal twice to the right. So there you go. How would you get x by itself? You're going to divide by? 55. And then use your calculator. 4840 divided by 55. 88. All right, number four. What percent of 32 is 8? So what percent? We don't know. Of 32 is 8. Try to put them down before I do. So you got your 8, you got your 32. 32 times n is 32n. 8 times 100 is 800. Get n by itself, divide by 32, divide by 32, 800 divided by 32 is 25. Notice I write it down first and then, uh oh, this one's a percent. Got to watch out for those. I write it down first and then I type it in the calculator. I see a lot of kids just type, 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 type. No, write it down first and then that's telling you what to type in. All right. Five, find 34% of 265. Proportion. 34 over 100. 34% of 265. It's always the percent of the total. So 265 is down here. Boom. 
100 times x is 100x. 34 times 265 is 9,010. Divide by 100 this time. We're going to get 90.1. Does it say to round? No, it doesn't, so I'm going to leave it as 90.1. All right, number six, what is 40% of 350? 40% is 40 over 100. Of 350, where's the 350 going to go? Hopefully you guessed it on the bottom. And let's cross multiply. 100 times x is 100x. 40 times 350 is 14,000. How are you going to get x by itself? Divide by what's next to it. 14,000 divided by 100, you're going to actually cross off those two zeros and you're left with 140. Okie doke. Let's see, number seven. 112 is what percent of 98? Okie doke. We don't know the percent, so n over 100. And is over of, 112 is with the is, 98. I don't know if you can tell this, but I can already tell my answer is going to be over 100%. Because remember how it's part over total? Look, the part is bigger than the total. So our percent better be bigger than 100. Let's see if it happens. 98 times n, 98n. 112 times 100, 112 with two more zeros. How do you get n by itself? Divide. Okay, let's see if I was right. 11,200 divided by 98. Yeah, it's over 100, so, and I wish I did say to round. Let's just round it to the nearest percent. So I got 100, I'll show you what I got. 114.28, so if we're gonna round to the whole percent there. That's a two, so I'm gonna leave it. Right, 114 percent. Yeah. Okay, one more. 45 percent of what is 44.55? Okay. 45 percent is 45 out of 100 is over of. So 44.55 is near is. Right? We don't know what's near the what. Let's cross multiply. 45 times x is 45x. 100 times 44.55. You would move the decimal over twice, so there you go. Ooh, lots of fours and fives. How do you get x by itself? Divide it by the 45 and x equals, let's see, 4455 five, divided by 45. x equals 99. All right, nice. I think that was some good practice. I will stop it right here and let me know if you guys have questions. All right, good job.